show you how to set up and install the new Chromecast with Google TV step by step. First thing out of, out of the box, get an instructions manual here. You get a charging cable, get a wall adapter, USB-A. You get the Chromecast itself. You have a remote and you have batteries, okay? First thing we're going to do is install the batteries, grab your remotes. Put your finger on there, just go ahead and press down. Make sure both batteries are in correctly. Next thing is uh, we're going to connect this to the TV. So first grab this and then grab your charging cable. USB-C goes into here. And then the wall adapter we're going to put into here. Now now we're going to go to the back of the TV and we're going to plug in the HDMI, the Chromecast, into the HDMI port. i got several open ones here. I'm going to put it on HDMI 1, right there. Now take note that this one here has a, a USB port. You can try to plug it in there and give it power this way. The only thing is you might have an issue with the update, but you can go ahead and try it. If you have issues, then just go ahead and go with the wall adapter. And this one I'm just going to plug right in here. Now the next thing you want to do is go to the correct HDMI port. I put mine in HDMI 1, so let me go to this TV, and I'm going to go to HDMI, HDMI 1 right there. I'm going to click on OK. So we're going to go ahead and start pairing the remote here. Oh, it already paired, okay? If it didn't pair automatically, what you have to do is just press and hold the back button and the home button. Press and hold both buttons and keep holding both buttons until you see a little light here and then just let go. Okay, and then you'll get the check mark and then we can proceed to here. And you can see the navigation is right here and here's the select button here. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to go with English here. Click on OK to select button in the middle. So the next thing is we want to go ahead and grab our phone. Doesn't matter if you have an iPhone or Android phone. Go to your app store. And then once you're in your app store, what you want to do is you want to do a search. Just do a search for Home or Google Home. And then what we want to do is download and install this Google Home right there. So go ahead and download and install that. I already have mine downloaded. Once you download and install it, go ahead and open it up. So here's my Google Home here. Let's open that up. First thing from here, we want to do is just click on the plus sign to add a device. So we're going to click on the plus sign right there. And then we're going to click up here to set up a device right there. And I'm going to go with new devices here. Let's tap on that. I have two homes here. Let me go to this one on top right there. Make sure that's checked. Click on next. Looking for devices. It says Chromecast is found. You can see mine Chromecast. It says 9297. Just make sure somewhere on the TV it says it. Mine's on the top left hand corner there. So I'm going to go ahead and tap on next. Now we've got to scan the QR code that's on the TV so let's go ahead and scan this so it's connecting on the TV connected now this pops up here I'm going to tap on accept additional legal terms you have to agree to proceed I'm going to go ahead and agree here where's the device located so mine is going to be it's in the bedroom so I'm going to tap on bedroom right there tap on next Add a custom name here. I'll just name it Bedroom. Connect it to my Wi Fi. It says connected. It also says connected on here on the phone as well. Sign in with your Google account. Go ahead and read through this. And I'm going to tap on continue down here. So signing in to the TV, my password or face ID. It says signed in. And now I also get a software update. So let's go ahead and do this now. Continue. It says downloading system update on the TV. Google services. These are all optional. So just go ahead and read through those. I'm fine with all of this toggle on. So for myself, I will tap accept. Google Assistant here. Let's go ahead and tap on Continue. Search across your TV apps. You can go No Thanks or you can allow it. Up to you. For me, I'm going to go ahead and allow this. 
activate voice match on this device, go ahead and read through this. You can no thanks or you can allow it. All right, for me, I'm just going to go ahead and no thanks. I can always allow that later on if I want to later in the future as well. Get personal results on devices at home. Go ahead and read through all of these. You got to go all the way down. And then from here, it's up to you. You can go no thanks or turn on. Okay, so for me, I'm just going to go with no thanks. Choose your subscriptions. You can do that now or you can download later on after the setup is all done. But I, I'll just choose a couple. I use uh, Netflix, Disney, HBO Max. And I'll click on next for myself. Choose an ambient mode. Select to show when your display isn't being used. Basically like a screensaver. Okay, so you can go ahead and choose one. Let me go down to uh, art gallery here. And I'll choose on next. And select the art image you want. You, you you can choose multiple multiple of them or whatnot. I'll just uncheck that and I'll leave these ones. I'll just use these ones as well. I'll click on next here. Staying to no, that's up, that's up to you. You can sign up or no thanks. I'm gonna go with no thanks. Almost done. Here's a review of what you set up. You read through that. Tap on next. Setup here is finished. Complete setup on TV screen with remote. So I'm going to tap on done right there. Now let's go back to the TV. It says, it says downloading system update. So I'm just uh, waiting here. Looks like this part is all done. It says Chromecast will restart soon. Follow the instructions on the Google Home app. Okay, so let's be patient here and wait. System update installing now. I mean, that took a long time. Maybe like I waited like 10 minutes. It's restarting now. Control volume and power with your Google remote. So you should be able to increase and decrease volume and power off the TV, okay? So we can set this up later or do it not now. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up now, set up remote. So let's go ahead and go with that. Remember to select that little middle button right there. And we are setting up a TV. And let's see if it finds it. So I need to configure this TV, okay? So this TV is a Hisense Roku TV, and I set this up before, so for me, I need to go down, you can go down this way, I need to go down to the R's for Roku, because if I just set it up on regular Hisense, it's not gonna work. So here's R, and then let me go down to Roku, it's a Roku Hisense TV, click on enter. You'll hear music, if you can't hear it, make sure the volume is all the way turned up, okay? Yep, I hear it. Do the volumes buttons work? Yes, it does. So I'm going to go with yes down there. Next, we're going to set up the power button. Go with next here. It says press once. The power button on the remote. Wait at least eight seconds. Don't press any buttons. Press the power button again and it should turn back on. So let's go ahead and turn off. So I'm going to turn it off. One, count to eight seconds. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And now I'm going to power it back on. And let's see if that works. Yes. Did the power bu wor button work? It did. So I'm going to go with the yes right there. Your Google TV remote is set up. You can read through that. I'm going to go with next here. Get personalized recommendations from across your streaming services. All right, so you can go ahead and read through this tutorial yourself, okay? Just keep going to the right. And we're just waiting to install the apps here, installing. Your Chromecast with Google TV is ready. So you can go ahead and start exploring right there. And voila, there you go. Questions or issues, comment below. Good luck.